could have just drove around him, but no. <laughs> I, I thought they learned to, to charge now. No, they don't do nothing. It's always like All right, see, ducks. But well, we got this nastiest algae looking stuff. So this pond would stay pretty nice and clear, except it's got that pond on the other property that no one manages or does anything with, right? But still not too bad. But then on the other up there, there's a third pond. So the first pond up there in the woods that nobody messes with, I've flown over occasionally and uh, it's super nasty and a mess. Oh look, they think we brought them an offering. We only need one bucket, by the way, because most of this is for the big pond, sorry. So today, we're gonna talk about <clears throat> pond boost beneficial bacteria. So this is uh, something else from Living Water Aeration, uh, pond boost beneficial bacteria. So what we're gonna do is you, you look at your pond and it's based on just the surface area of this particular product not the depth or anything and it tells you how much to toss in there and you do it every couple of weeks uh, here's some of the benefits reduces sludge buildup reduces excess nutrients eliminates pond odors uh, cold weather bacteria strains for temperatures as low as 38 degrees fahrenheit which is you know getting close to zero celsius so yeah it's uh this one is pond bacteria and barley five billion cfu per gram this is 25 pounds comes in a 25 pound bucket and we're going to toss it in here to see some things so you can get a good idea of that and then we're also going to add this to the big pond and keep an update on how that goes so i've had this for a couple weeks but i wanted to wait because i knew rain was coming i wanted to wait, wait till after it rained and then toss this and do some stuff we'll see if we can get away with the ducks not eating it all <laughs> as I put it in. So, ta da! And when it's over, we get another bucket. And I have a collection of buckets because every time I go to Lowe's or Home Depot, There we go. So it has these little packets already done up for you. All right. <laughs> so the question is, are they soluble? Like do I just toss them in or do I have to open them and toss them in? It smells like crackers. It does smell like crackers. Newer ponds with little muck, four pounds per surface area every two weeks. Huh? Look at that. So it comes in these little packets for you so you can measure it out very easily. Here come our geese. So there's a couple of geese that have decided to uh, live here too. Here they come. They're coming in for a landing. Watch out. Oh, they saw us and said, what? They should be used to us by now, though. Oh, no free food today. <laughs> smells like crackers, too. I just got a bunch of bacteria in my nose. Yeah. Maybe that'll clear you up, too. Maybe. Here they come. Let's see. Let's see something. Fishy, wake up, wake up! Oh, that answers that question. It does dissolve. So they are dissolvable. See, that's one of the reasons we make these videos so that everybody gets information and they don't have to try and figure it out. So 
you get to take these and it's like playing uh or cornhole they finally decided we're okay well good morning so every day well every day they show up and they eat our food and they hang out all day and then when it starts getting dark they fly back over to the other pond where all of the other ones are at there it goes it just takes a little while this is fun Oh, a skip. You see that? So that's all you do. Then uh, we've got the camera that's been out here the whole time. We're going to put that on time lapse and then two weeks we'll do another dose the dose every two weeks is half of what we just did and uh yeah we'll see how it see how it goes see how this progresses uh oh we got a duck that's interested no they've all slipped beneath the surface except for the last one i just threw and now those will spread out and populate in the pond and be uh, good bacteria. So like I say, we'll set this to time lapse. You know the next volunteer we need? A tree volunteer. Our tree needs to be trimmed. You need a tree trimmer? Yeah, we just need to, all the low sprouts we need to cut. So we need to go around and do that. So it rained yesterday and the SS Beely Good still has water in it. James said that he had uh, wired the pump to work and I see the float in there and maybe it's just me. But it looks like the float is cut. Is that just me? No. Well, James will be here today with a new surprise. So when he gets here, we'll have him tell us why our boat still got water in it. Okay. So, easy peasy. Man. See, this is why I put a hole in the dock so we can still throw. Actually, these beams get cut out, and this is so you still fish off the dock and do your casting and stuff, and yada yada yada. We're getting the pro league, man. You didn't know. Everybody wants to know how I got my money. It was baseball. Look me up. Baseball, I didn't say football. Hey, fun fact. I was signed to the Carolina Hurricanes. True story. I've got the contract for a day. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Oh, look. More uh, James trash. Yeah, thanks, James. All right, I'm going to throw two more over here, and then we'll drive over there. Let us keep rolling.
it's already looking better. The aeration system's doing its job. Here, we'll throw some out here. <sighs> nice. What the hell is that from? <laughs> you want to throw any? Yeah. All right. See that pole that James has never taken out of the pond? I'm aiming for it. A little short. Huh? Not bad. Whew. Man, my arm's getting warmed up now. So that's about as loud as the aerator gets. I don't know if you can even hear it. All right, let's continue. Maybe we could just be like a paper boy. You can just drive around the other way and I'll just throw them as we ride around. Want to? Yeah, that's probably smart. Dun, 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 dun. Takes me back to my paper route days. Oh, I threw enough right here. Definitely need to go cut those sprouts there. reporting on how how this does and y'all will see it for yourselves because obviously I put the pond in almost every video and uh, it's already looking better with just the aeration system but yeah. we have some we have some pond dye but I'm gonna wait uh, a couple weeks so that we can really see how this has helped and then uh, and then we'll play around with that so see you soon remember
you have a pond you need to treat, reach out to Living Water Aeration. They've been great. Customer service has been great. Really taking care of me on everything. And I'm sure they'll do the same for you.